Welcome back to another episode of A Brief History. I'm Rebecca Larson. Today, we're going to look at one of my favorite English monarchs, the ever charismatic Edward IV of England. The Tudor's Dynasty Podcast. Picture this, England, 1461. The Wars of the Roses, a clash for the throne between the houses of Lancaster and York. And in the midst of this chaos emerged a formidable figure, King Edward IV. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer. So no matter what your setup is like, you can start creating today. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, it's all totally free with no catch. I highly recommend you give it a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Edward's victory at the Battle of Taunton in 1461 was a game changer, marking a turning point in the Wars of the Roses. But that was just the beginning of his story as King of England. It was three years later, in 1464, when King Edward IV betrayed his cousin the Kingmaker, Richard Neville, Earl of Warwick, and secretly wed a commoner. He had fallen in love with Elizabeth Woodville. Elizabeth Woodville was known for her beauty, but as a commoner and a widow, having been married to the enemy, a Lancastrian, a marriage to her was frowned upon. Not to mention, it didn't build any alliances either. Her mother was Jaquetta of Luxembourg, who, through her first marriage, was the daughter-in-law of King Henry IV. Jaquetta's husband was John of Lancaster and was the third son of Henry IV and was titled Duke of Bedford. But their marriage was short-lived, with Bedford dying only a couple years after their wedding. Jaquetta, much like her future son-in-law, married a commoner for love, Richard Woodville. But it was clear that Edward IV was in love and he would get what he wanted, even if it meant making an enemy of the kingmaker. Many of Edward's subjects were extremely unhappy with his choice of a bride, and even more unhappy when the sisters of the new queen were wed off to nobility and the brothers were given titles and significant positions. Many of Edward's subjects were extremely unhappy with his choice of a bride, and even more unhappy when the sisters of the new queen were wed off to nobility, and the brothers were given titles and significant positions. This upset the status quo at court and angered those who had hoped for favor from the new king. After the secret marriage to Elizabeth Woodville was exposed, the conflict between Edward IV and Warwick escalated. This led to a series of battles. Warwick eventually rebelled against the king, leading to a period of conflict and instability. In 1470, Edward was forced into exile as a result of Warwick's actions. During Edward's exile, the Lancastrians briefly returned to power after Warwick's unsuccessful attempt to place Edward's younger brother, George, Duke of Clarence, on the throne. But Warwick was successful in that he was able to reinstate Henry VI as king, but for a short time, because Edward would not allow it. Edward IV gathered support and returned to England. And so on the 14th of April, 1471, the Battle of Barnet occurred. And in the midst of the heavy morning fog, chaos ensued, and mistakes were made identifying the opposing side's emblems. And in the confusion of it all, As Warwick fled for his horse, he was cut down by his own men. The kingmaker was dead, but the son and heir of Henry VI was still alive and posed a threat to Edward IV. But that all ended on the 4th of May, 1471. Edward of Westminster, Prince of Wales, was killed at the Battle of Tewkesbury. And not long after, his father, Henry VI, died or was murdered in the Tower of London. Things in the realm quieted down significantly after that point, and Edward and Elizabeth continued forward, 
giving birth to many more children. However, as fate would have it, Edward's sudden death in 1483 would unleash a new chapter of turmoil. The stage was set for a power struggle that would shape the destiny of England. Thank you so much for joining me again for another episode of A Brief History. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, it's completely free and it notifies you when new episodes are released. I'm Rebecca Larson. Until next time. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Tudor's Dynasty podcast. You can follow and support the Tudor's Dynasty podcast on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon at Tudor's Dynasty.